And these things that we've bisked with the underglaze, um, a lot of them need another coat. Um, because I only put two coats on them because of, watch the other video. And, um, we're going to put the underglaze transfers on these so that they go back to completing a set of dishes that look, um, look like this. Fantastic. So that's what we're working on today. Thanks for coming. You and me, babe. You and me, babe. You're just nothing else but you. We're ready to go. I put two coats of aqua on this on the um, on the greenware. The thing about putting it on the greenware is that sometimes you just brush, your brush brushes up, um, up slip from the, uh, from the greenware. And I'm thinking that's what happened here. But you can tell if that's just random or if that's actually there. When you wet it, it goes closer to the color. If it goes away, if you can wash it off after you wet it, then, you know, there's nothing wrong with your coverage. But you can see exactly where I put that brush down and wiped that way. You know, I mean, or pulled it off, one or the other. So I'm going to go ahead. This has already been fired. So this uh, underglaze is bisque. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and patch in some of this and go with it, see what we can't make happen as far as that's concerned. This is the cup in the same color and it was one of the worst, one of the worst ones. So this is the new cup and it only has two coats on the bisque. The other thing that I think is really key between putting when you're putting, whether you're putting gla underglaze on your bisqueware or whether you're putting your underglaze on your greenware. If you're putting it on your greenware, um, you know, it, it can obviously wipe up slip off of the greenware if you get too much water on it. Um, you can think you get it covered and you don't, but you have a second chance. So, you know, that's something. But with bisqueware, I think that's the reason that they say two to three coats. Because two coats on bisqueware, because of the absorbency of the wear, I think it gets a lot more glaze on it. Whereas two coats on the greenware, because the wear is not as absorbent, I don't think it gets as much glaze. And you can see a little bit more of what I'm talking about on the greenware. I mean, this clearly is going to have to have another coat of the aqua. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> that being said, I can't promise you that it was the number of coats that caused this. So, it's just speculation regardless. So, that's my speculation for the day. <laughs>
the newsprint. It's not on the um, tissue paper. Um, but I thought, well, we can learn whether or not newsprint transfers will go on to Bisquare. And that's just the way this will have to be. And at first thought, I'm thinking, no, this is not going to work. <laughs> oh man, it's not working. I don't know, maybe it'll give me a little bit more open time to move it just a titch. No, did not need to move that way. Yeah, this is... This is not working out. So if you squirt your, your underglaze transfers like this, this is already ruined, so I'll just show you. Then this side gets wet and that underglaze transfers a little bit better to the pot. So like if I am just putting this right here, um, it doesn't even stick down really, but it transferred to the pot. Um, it's not, it's, it's not very really good, but half of it was gone anyway. So, man, there's just seems to be something about chartreuse that doesn't want to be a part of this dinnerware set. Go figure. was not getting wet. So I'm gonna dip this. So some water in here and I'm just gonna dip it. Just dip it like this. And now you can probably see the color change there. So I've hydrated all of that paper. And now it's a lot floppier. And I don't have to worry about holding it down while I um, attach it to the bisqueware. Now with greenware, this really isn't a problem. You stick it to the greenware with newsprint, you walk away, you leave it overnight. The next morning you will have a perfect, perfect, perfect copy of whatever because the paper will dry out and the underglaze will follow the water. Um, but this is the first time that I've tried uh, um, newsprint on bisque. Oh my goodness. That looks great. That looks really great. I'm really happy with that. Does look like it did get a little bit of smearing in there. See if I can hold that up for you. 
So you're looking in this area here, right underneath the, um, right underneath that wing. chartreuse on it and got me a nice little S crack yes I did so we have abandoned the chartreuse except on that bowl <laughs> um, I did go ahead and put this one together uh, because I wanted to experiment a little bit and um, and then I think I will break it apart um, because I want to know if that broke because it's too thick. And I also want to see how much more it opens, if it opens anymore in the um, in the firing. Worst case scenario, I have a beautiful plate for uh, my own table. Chartreuse is one of my favorite colors for fairy house leaves and for um, watercolor scenes with wildflowers and things like that. My wildfire flower collection, chartreuse is definitely a part of that. But, you know, for whatever reason, it's not meant to be for this set of plates. <laughs> Don't argue with it. Sometimes you just don't, just stop arguing with it and just go. Just, just, just go. <laughs> just go with what's easy. Uh, but that pretty much sums it up for today. And tomorrow we'll get these all waxed up and uh, try some new things probably. And, um, move forward with whatever is next in the studio. Thanks for coming along.